Hey guys, and today I'm going to show you a bunch of these weird loadouts from the new Independence Day um, update in Phantom Forces, and these loadouts are actually really weird. They added a bunch of stuff I don't even think should be in the game, but, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, um, the first thing, um, we're going to look at is the M231, um, just go left to left to right. Um, they added this thing. Uh, yeah. Let me just throw some stuff on it real quick. Yeah, muscle booster. Why not? Um, and just H and K sight. Um, but uh, this thing does uh. <laughs> I have no idea why this is even in the game, <laughs> but it does this. <sighs> How are you even supposed to shoot this thing? Look at the spread. Oh my god. That thing's worse than a shotgun. But, uh, yeah, there's this uncontrollable mess. Uh, let me turn off my chat real quick, but, um, yeah, <laughs> that's the first one. Okay, so now we move on to the foul. Now, there is this thing where it drastically decreases the long range performance, but, um, the close range performance stays the same and you get a pro mag with it. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me just throw some stuff on real quick. Um, stubby with a uh, comp. Or, um, just put a muffler or something. Uh, I have no idea, but, um, yeah, it's your friendly neighborhood 50 round. Foul 50. <laughs> what is this thing? It's like the Zip 22 mag with like normal pistol rounds in it. Uh, never mind. Okay. Uh, let me just wait till this uh, thing finishes and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so back with the foul on the new map, because last game uh, ended, but um, this thing would be really good for CQC, and it's like LMG um, ammo pool, but um, well not LMG ammo pool, it's like magazine capacity, except uh, you don't carry much spare ammo, but um, this would be really good for CQC, except um, short range long range performance I mean is going to suffer a lot but um oh <laughs> just randomly shooting uh but yeah uh it's not much people left uh of course it's a VIP server because uh I'm not going to buy all of these so um yeah so um same thing with all the other fouls, but, um, let's get on to the ECR with this 556 five, conversion, which turns it into a normal assault rifle upset with, like, huge sight accuracy. It's basically like, it's basically like, um, uh, ASVAL with, um, uh, integrated three-round burst mode and also with the extended mag with the bigger arm ammo pool. Um just throw some stuff on real quick. Um get this stubby with the muzzle or something. No idea. But uh just put a muffler because why not? And uh HNK is fine. Um but uh yeah this thing's really accurate. 
reloads super fast. Like, look at this reload speed. It's like, it's like M4. <laughs> but, uh, it deals a bunch of damage. Uh, not a bunch of damage, but it deals 34 to 20, which is actually pretty decent for something like this. But, uh, yeah. So the next thing is going to be on the carbine section. Now it's going straight down to the jury. Of course, there's the Fal 50 para, except it's literally the exact same thing as, um, it's, it has the exact same thing as the other Fal, but, um, yeah, there's a shotgun jury. Let me throw some stuff on. Um, the stubby with the booster and uh, <laughs> cowboy sight. Why not? Um, but uh, hmm, that's unexpected. Yeah, that's weird. But uh, <laughs> um, I guess I just have a normal circle now. But um, yeah, this thing is like super fast firing shotgun, five round shotgun. Um, deals some pretty decent damage. Uh, if we go back here, it deals. Um, should probably get the normal um thing it's 40 to 20 and it shoots eight shots with the bug shot um so yeah next thing we have is the shotgun category and that's the dbv12 and um this thing uh it's a uh, barely changes the damage except uh you get 30 ammo and uh 1000 fire rate shotgun so um if you could somehow glitch these two on here that would be a very good shotgun be like a super good machine gun but um yeah let me just throw some stuff on real quick um go with the muzzle There you go, but, um, this thing, the spread is horrendous, yeah, but, uh, this thing is, like, god in CQC, because, like, I mean, like, 1,000 shotgun, 1,000 RPM shotgun, and the recoil is horrendous, too, but, uh, it's mostly, um, it's mostly, like, uh, that type of recoil, <laughs> if you know what I mean, and not this type, like this type of recoil, I mean, um, doesn't rotate that much, just goes back a lot. Also, your ammo pool sucks, but, um, yeah, I just missed my entire magazine. Okay, whatever. But, um, the next thing we have is some of the more crazy ones, which is, uh, the Uzi. Now, uh, let me just, uh, put some stuff on. But, uh, this thing, if you go to the ammo category, um, there always is this, but, um, we're not gonna be talking about this one today, um, there's this thing. It basically turns your gun into a worse at 22. But, um, in full auto, 15 to 9 damage. But its accuracy is great, and you got a pro mag with a 200 ammo pool, which is pretty nice, but, uh, damage is horrendous. And the uh, accuracy is actually very good. It's like laser beam. Like this thing is a laser beam. You could probably, uh, let me throw a sniper scope on here. You see how much the recoil is. But, um, 
sniper scope. Where's the... Uh... Eh. Let me just throw on the... Hmm. Vcog eight times. But, uh... Let me check how much your recoil is, but this thing's like a laser. But, uh... Whoa! What is that? <laughs> Alt aim on the Z is so weird, but um, huh? I think that's a glitch. Let me try again. Ah, huh. deploy just glitch. Huh. Well, I guess we're not going to be using that today. Um, we just go back to like. Uh, I don't know. Um. Uh, I don't really know, uh, what I should use on this, um, where's the, okay, whatever, just ACOG, I think I have the, yeah, I have a glitch, my site is glitched, um, uh, I don't know how to, what to do, but, um, let me just go and die real quick, and I will be right back. Hey guys, so, back with the Uzi, uh, had some minor technical difficulties there, but, um, this thing's a laser beam. Well, not really laser beam, but, uh. It's a weird gun with this Pro Mag Zip 22 thing, but it's basically just a worse version of the Zip 22 with a Pro Mag, so uh, it's basically pointless, but uh, yeah, at least you got a laser beam. But uh, now on to the next gun. So, next thing we have is the PPSH um, with uh, the Obra's barrel, um, makes it like a pistol, but um, if you do remove stock, it it's basically a machine pistol with the 70 round drum mag which and also deals the same damage as an FSMG but um yeah no don't really know much at this point but um just get an HNK whatever but uh look at the flash on this thing But, uh, it's like a machine pistol in your primary with a giant drum mag and SMG damage. But it does really look like a pistol, though. As you can see, um, oops, wrong button, but, yeah, it looks like a pistol. It just looks like a big pistol. And it always fires really fast, um, not much about that, but, um, yeah, on to the next gun. Now, the next gun we will look at is the Chris Vector. So, um, it also has this F-22 thingy, except this time makes it even worse. From set auto automatic to a 10-round magazine with atrocious damage. Like, look at this. But, um, the head multiplier's not bad. It's, like, a bit less than a, bit less than a, um, sniper multiplier. But look at this damage. I mean, like, if you get three times on this, you're only going to get, like, a normal DMR's damage anyways. Um, but, uh, not going to look at those today. Those are some normal stuff. But, um, just... Put some really dumb stuff on this. Eh, why not chainsaw? With a osprey suppressor to make the damage like the worst as possible. And then, uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, we just uh put an AMT terminator on here. There we go. <sighs> this thing's like What is this? It's like it's a pistol. It is a pistol that you can't zoom in and it's basically the Zip 22 in your primary. Yes, it's literally the Zip 22 in your primary. Like, why does this exist? Hmm. Well, uh. Just, uh, wait for this. Stuff here. <laughs> this retracts. This. Move stock, probably better. Yeah, so this thing is basically the zip 22 in your primary slot. Um, actually, to make it a bit more zip 22, uh, let me get the zip 22 out. And, uh, put like. Oh, a pistol grip, which is ironically taller than the gun. Great. And you just put, uh, I don't know, just put an H and K on there. But, uh, yeah, this thing's your pistol. It's does it 22 in your primary slot without a pro mag, so it's even worse than the Uzi. But, uh, hey, at least it's a DMR thing. Well, not DMR thing, it's a Zip 22 pistol in your primary slot, and it barely deals damage to anyone, so why would you use it? Like Stylus, why? Why? Why does this exist? It makes the gun, like, ten times worse in any way. Every single way. Like, you get semi-auto with ten rounds. And terrible damage, but uh, <laughs> no idea what that is, guess, but um, yeah, let's move on. So now we have the Tommy gun. Now, uh, just throw some stuff on here. Um, the 42 specials, 45 specials, actually, not what we're looking at today. It's the this conversion, which turns your Tommy gun into a primary Tech 9. Now, uh, as you might have noticed, uh, a lot of these guns are actually literally just conversion kits that convert your primary into some sort of sec secondary, stat-wise. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's some very high fire rate, the same ammo capacity, as you can see. But, uh, just throw some stuff on. Yeah, let's put a comp. Lyman site, why not? But, uh, yeah, that was, I don't like this site. It's like one of the most, it's like one of the worst sites ever, but, um, yeah, it, and it, it's your Tech 9, basically. Oh, I still have my box of Zip 22 here, but, uh, get the Tech 9 out. Just deal some more damage than Tech 9. Uh, same horrendous recoil as the Tech 9. It's basically a reskin Tech 9 with more damage. While the Chris Vector back there was a uh, worse Zip 22 in your primary slot, which I have no idea why would you why you would use it, but um, it's there. So uh, if you want to go for the memes, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this thing's like your Tech 9. Uh, didn't reload there, but, uh, yeah, um, so on to the next one, next category, uh, we go to DMRs, now we have the SKS here, and, uh, you can turn this into a shotgun, and 
your muzzle velocity actually doesn't suffer much. You actually get much more sight accuracy if you change it to slugs, believe it or not. Which basically makes it a DMR thing. Yeah, basically you just makes it an MK11. No, not an MK11, probably something more like a, yeah, TCR, but, um, that's the first thing. Now we look at the buckshot. Just throw some stuff on here. Ah, makes wood. Sure, why not? Um, stubby with your short, short barrel, cause, uh, <laughs> It is a sniper after all, but, um, oh yeah, a side whisker, why not? Um, itching case sight. Now, uh, yeah, it's your shotgun with terrible spread with 10 rounds. Why would you use this thing? Also has terrible damage. It's like super spread shotgun, which fires super fast and has only... 10 rounds. Also with terrible damage. Uh, yeah. Yeah, at least the sideways groups give it this thing. All tame, but um, if you just go and compare it to something like DVV-12, let's say, um, you get 10 rounds on semi, 29 to 17. With actually pretty bad muzzle velocity, but um, with your SKS, you actually get 25, which is some worse damage, and the muzzle velocity is pretty bad too, but um, you get some better long range damage, um, much better fire rate. Is it much better fire rate actually? Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's 100 more, it's actually pretty good fire rate. Um, but like, why would you use this over something like the AA 12, for example? Like, it's just like way better with like your 20 round mag and stuff, but um, yeah, like back to the SKS. Now, uh, maybe the short barrel's a bit uh, bad for spread, but um, let me just throw one of these on instead. But um, yeah, that's a better spread. But uh, this would actually make a, a decent shotgun if you don't want to pay for the A12. That's what you're going to be paying for this attachment, anyways, but um, might as well just buy the A12, but um, yeah, it's a nice uh, shotgun if you want a DMR shotgun with some better long range performance and its sight accuracy is actually really good, but um, yeah, sweet track stock. Um, yeah, so it's actually some pretty good shotgun. Well, medium range shotgun, but um, Next thing we have is the SL8. So first of all, we have this, which turns your SL8 into a TCR. Yes, <laughs> that's literally all it does. But um, just put a long barrel on here, which actually makes it worse for damage. But uh, who cares? Um, and uh. Let me put, like, uh, PSO, um, where's the PSO one? There you go. But, uh, yeah, it turns your SL8 into a TCR with some pretty fast reload rate. Recoil's pretty bad. Um like a bootleg on a budget TCR but uh if you have the TCR don't use this TCR is way better but uh yeah like let me take out the TCR it has better damage slightly better fire rate well, although this does have a bigger ammo pool, but, uh, yeah, don't use this if you have the TCR. Now, uh, there's nothing here, but, uh, 
next thing we have on the list is the skip here the cult so now we have this thing which basically turns it into a battle rifle it turns it into like the damage of an AK-12 BR except the thing is you have AK-12 BR damage with LMG ammo pool with 10 more than AR 10 more than AR um, magazine capacity so like this is actually pretty good just put a slap a short barrel on here um, for close range engagements basically turns this into an overpowered AR because you get BR damage with LMG capacity like what is LMG um, AR capacity hybrid but like what is this um, probably shouldn't put a grip because uh, ADS time but um, just slap another green laser on here remove stock Slap a remove stock on there. Yeah, so this is like close range engagement times 1000, except it has like M231 recoil now because I removed the stock. Uh, yeah, so you probably want a stock. Yeah, you should probably get a stock, but um, put a green laser. I'll stop your. Although this does worsen the ADS time, but um, some um, pretty bad recoil, um, pretty decent recoil, at least it's not M231 anymore, but uh, you could make it M231 if you wanted to, with the remove stock on this Grendel magazine thing, but, um, yeah, you get AR, you get, um, AR, um, LMG capacity hybrid with BR damage, which is actually a pretty good gun, I'm so the recoil is pretty bad, but that might be due to because I used a short barrel some and stuff. But um, yeah, it's uh, actually a pretty good gun, pretty solid gun. I would actually probably use this really fast reload rate too, like for 40 rounds. Okay, so the next thing we have on the list now um. I know there's like the BF350 with a dust shot, the heck, Hecate with a dust shot, and uh, we're going to be looking at the M107 with dust shot. Now, um, put an extended mag on there, because why not? Um, stubby group with a CQB barrel and an Asian case light. This thing actually has a really decent sight accuracy, honestly. But, uh, I put a short barrel on here, so this spread is, like, unreal. Also, you're still really slow, so this one, this thing would be, like, like, why would you use this? Because you'll be, like, super slow in CQC. Your reload rate sucks and you only have 10 ammo but uh and you only deal like normal shotgun damage so why would you use this just use something like the dbb 12 for example or the aa 12 yeah the AA 12 is pretty nice but um oh well, this is a bit overpowered but um yeah you only, you barely have any spare rounds in this and spread is unreal if you want the short barrel upset if you don't have the short barrel, you move even slower, so, uh, yeah. Just put a muzzle booster on here, but, uh, yeah, you're, like, super slow dude in CQC with barely any ammo, but, uh, at least the spread is better, but, uh, look at this AES time, like, why would you use this in CQC? Oh, my God. Yeah, he was never gonna win that fight. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, now uh, there are some other not that um weird 
loadouts here, but um, now for example, uh, the Scar Rage here actually got a CQC damage buff, so if you put Hollow Point on here, you get 50 damage. Um, also, if you put this here, you get like BR damage with AR stuff, AR fire rate. But uh, if you were going to use this thing, you might as well just have to use the. Yeah, because this recall is pretty bad too. But um, might as well just use um the Colt LMG with better damage, better fire rate, better ammo capacity. With the uh, um Grendel magazines, but um yeah. I actually think this is one of the better guns in this weird gun list, but, um, yeah, it basically turns your thing into a BR, AR, um, BR, AR, LMG hybrid, taking the best from each category. Um, so, the Scar H with this is fine, um. If I was going to use the Scar Rage, I'd probably use it on Hollow Point instead of whatever that stuff. But, um, yeah, so now we have stuff like, um, yeah, the, the other fouls with the, um, Pro Mags, which have terrible long range damage. But, uh, yeah, um, that's it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.